Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you all are doing well, having a great week. It's almost weekend. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, enable notifications, and leave me a comment. So, uh, I'm going to continue with Professor Weasley's assignment. Uh, that's kind of like how the main story continues at the moment. Uh, I'm going to do the quest for Deke as well. Uh, it's for um, it's expanding your uh, room of requirement, so going to do that. And I think I'm also going to com uh, complete. The, I've got the uh, mail to complete the quest for the moon. Those demi geysers. Um, and since I did that in the main quest, I'll complete that and show that to you as well. And we'll see how the main quest progress from there. Okay. So at the moment I'm here um, because I know um, with Deke, the thing is you need to um, actually capture a visceral or a male and a female visceral. So like dead horse things you can only see once you've seen death. I have a female, I think, one that I got with the pack, yes. So I need to capture a male, uh, and I'm just going to go to settings and s change it to story for that, for the capturing. And hopefully I remember to change it back. I, I need a male. There we go. And we going to change the sack or knapsack. Okay. I'll look after you. Uh, that's just like what you need to do for it. So I'm trying to save some time and also show you. So, uh, settings and normal. Uh, if you want to see, uh, there's a fissile then right over here. So, it's right here in the top of the corner. Northern Ford Bog. And also, if you want, you do get a quest for it, but here's a battle arena. So this is the normal battle arena. This is the dark arts one um, over here somewhere that you need to, that you have to get the, uh, what you call it for, the pack for it. There it is. That's the dark arts battleground one. So I think there's two or three normal battle areas. There's one of them. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go talk to Deke. Um, after that, I love that you can transport to your room of requirement. And quest. It's called Fowl of the Dead. When you have a moment, then please come and talk to Deke. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Dig thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. I would like that. Can't I simply just rescue them? That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? 
First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deek has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deek. Okay. So uh, then you go to map again and Hogsmeade. Okay, we go there um, and quest uh, the man behind the moons. It is the one for the man behind the moons. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're terrorizing Gladwin Moon. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them. I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am. At the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully, gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much! Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. It's an important job. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. You're no better than Mr. Moon. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Okay, and then we go to the scroll shop. If I can find it. In the scenic route. <laughs> Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. I say this thing you can't buy until you actually get this quest. It's Let's look at what we have, shall we? Scrolled out, uh, blacked out, or not available, or something. Okay, and there you go. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay, let's see... 
requests. Um, okay, I've got the first draw, so they did count. Um, and then you go to there. There's Mr. Moon. I think that's the nearest to him. Yeah, yeah, right there. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was your friend from school. <laughs> oh my. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers. I don't think he likes that nickname. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. Well, he's not going to be we happy. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguy's figurine menace. Oh, this guy is kind of an idiot. Um, okay, so you don't have to collect all the demigods to actually get the quest resolution. Um, I haven't gotten all of them. But something that's just funny is like that guy said he placed them to... Um, to keep uh, this caretaker out of his way that he doesn't run into him. The things are all over the map. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Every, like, um, farm or homestead or whatever they call it, there's one, so... <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, uh, then here we go, and... Back to Deke. Uh, for interest sakes, I have also captured uh, a Fupar, Fuper, and uh, this is actually one of a quest, but yeah, you can actually have named, like for the quest and stuff, in your pens or whatever, your Bavariums, and this is one of the Nifflers that I actually rescued and that quest where you go rescue a high wing. Uh, quest. I've rescued the Fistrals and bought the Spellcraft. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the Spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. I would not mind having a house or something like this that just grows a room that you need. 
But also, I have to admit, hats off to do the game, guys. They did it pretty well. It fits pretty well with the, like, wizarding world. Okay, so once again, you can explore it and discover the Revelio. stuff in here and the chests and stuff. Okay, uh, now to make room again on this huge... Okay, it's there and it's marked. This thing is ginormous, just by the way. Okay. Use the breeding pen to be breed festivals. Let's put a feeding station as well. And the toy box. Just for the ache of it. Okay. So that's done. Now let's release the beasts. Not that beast. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, so we want the festrels. Uh, the nifflers. And the poopers. This one? Okay, there we go. Select. And collect. I think that's all of them. Let's see if I can breed them now. Okay, so you go over here, interact, and you choose the fist roll. And then it takes 29 minutes. So 30 minutes. Okay, now if you see here, uh, okay, now I have to wait for the 29 minutes to go past. Okay, so uh, let's see. I think I like that one. So you can go upgrades and as you see you need Niffler fur and toad wards and jobs and all feathers and everything. Um, oh, this one you can go as well. That's what I get 27, 26. There's another level 30. Okay, cool. Okay, so while we wait for that, um, you know, you've actually got the breeding one of here. I think that looks like a pretty, that might, I might actually wear that 
face mask or especially if you've got like a I think it might look better on a female character but that looks pretty cool so breed 10 unique beasts and once again you can go put a breeding pin in each Vivarian uh, quests let's go complete Professor Weasley's assignment a map Okay, the first one is over here. I think that would be the easiest way. Yeah, follow the book. So you can look here. Um, this is actually like a secret little area. You can go down here, underground harbor. the underground harper. I can see you've got there is actually a chest there that you can get one of the eye chests but I've got it already there is like a message thing you can get here I don't think if I don't know if this is the same one they want you to get now Revelio. Okay, thanks. I don't know if that is the one that she wants you now to get and if you've got it already, if it's actually counted then or not. Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is landing for boats delivering first year students across Black Lake to Hogwarts. That's cool. And as you see, there's another chest there as well. And also here are some rocks if you want to skip rocks. <laughs> okay. So it's not the harbor over there. Like it's not the boathouse. Okay, the other one is here in the library. There and the library. Let's hope I get to the right place. Yeah, I'm in the library. Okay, let's... There. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Oh, here we go. Talking. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some oh, damn. people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. I should have saved... Um... Or actually had a web page open or something. <laughs> this is going to be disastrous. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Uh, I'm going to say the golden sniggit. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Um, Felix, Felix. Felix Felicis. Well done. 
Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows, if I remember correctly. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Uh, I'm going to say the Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Uh, no, I think that's false. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Okay, not right now, thank you. I, I'm sorry, I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Learn to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to advanced students as a bit of light, re light reading. Okay. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. Uh, just for intersex, the, it doesn't seem that the quizzes change. Um, it's the same as what it was for my other character. That's why it went a lot better than I thought it would. My fizzing whiz beer is still brewing. These things take time. I heard Professor Hello, Gareth. transfigured the book with all So, the has stars. your aunt been taking it's it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. <laughs> this guy's funny. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than Butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Okay, here we go.
That freaks me out. Beautifully done. Come on, I want to talk to them. Okay, they're not saying anything. What went wrong here? You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Despite spending so much time on assignments. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? I've got no idea what you're talking about. Yes, it was. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Oh, level 32. Okay. Um, now you've got all the yellow ones unlocked. Well, you've got all the spells unlocked except the evil spells. Like I say, I'm completely out of space now. Um, this is the square one, and this is the round one. Okay, so as you see, transform objects and enemies into alternate forms, whether puzzle solutions or harmless knickknacks. I can't say I've used them in puzzle solutions, but okay. Um, our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Oh, that should be fun. Okay, I will say, um, with the talents, just think about it, if this is what you want. Um, enemy struck with the transfiguration spell just falls into explosive objects. But that is, like, permanent, so that's more or less all they transform into now. So, like I said, think if that is what you want or not. This is just it lets the wind cut through multiple targets. Okay, so I've got all of them, all of the stealth, and I think with playing on normal, I might increase this. Spend two points in that, and then I'll see what else I'll spend points in. Because I think they, you get 35 points, I think. Uh, 
Okay, and we've got top of your class cloak. So top of the class ensemble, top of the class. I think that's the one I am wearing at the moment. Uh, gear. Yeah, I am wearing the top of the class scarf. Um, there's top of the class cloak. Uh, I would have liked it if it wasn't for these blue and if it was like this one. Um, no, not that one. That's <laughs> see if it looked like. Uh, this one. Did I not say square? Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, oh, this one. No, it's this one. This one looks pretty cool as well. But like I said, it's open like this. The that one just looks the knotted. How it's knotted in front just like really irritates me, and the blue. But I like the color scheme of it the rest of the way. And let's see quickly. Over here. Uh, protectors ensemble. Top of the class ensemble. See, you can't even see it. What's the use of that? Anyways, that's what it looked like without it really preppy. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I prefer that one. And I'm not scarf. And then this one. There we go. Okay, so this was a pretty long video that I think. Like, I'll show you in the quest, I'll show that probably in the start of the next video. Uh, show when the uh, foal is born. And then... I'll... So I'll do these friends quests uh, quickly in a separate video and then the next one will continue with the main stories as well i think i'll start with the gobbledygook one okay hope you all are well and like i say i have a great week and day and it's almost weekend, so I hope you have a great weekend, whatever you're planning. And see you in the next video.